Um, the advice I give to this young chef centre in the industry is um, aim high, always, always aim high. So get in the best job you can as early as you can and never work anything less than 100%, always work as hard as possible. The only prerequisite of being a chef is that you have to work hard. You don't have to have anything else as long as you're willing to adapt and work hard. That's, that's all you need to do well in this industry. Uh, a young chef from this industry can expect um, long hours, <laughs> a lot of long hours, um, learning new skills every day, um, really, really, uh, the UK is great for great for food at the moment. There's a lot of interesting uh, interesting places, and um, they can just expect to learn lots and see lots of new things and get a really good job satisfaction from some of the amazing things that they that they will see. Uh, the best bit of career advice I was ever given was um, by my old uh, boss Paul Ripley, and he said to me, "It doesn't matter what you do in life. It doesn't matter whether you're cooking food, cleaning a toilet." doing anything, he said just do whatever you can to the best of your ability. I'm looking for passion mostly, um, a good attitude, someone that's gonna, that's gonna push themselves and try, and try and sort of raise their game to the standards that we set. Um, I wouldn't expect anyone to work any less hard than anyone else that already works here. So. A young chef can expect from a career in Nathan Outlaw to learn new skills every single day. Um, they'll see some of the best produce available in the UK. Um, they certainly learn a lot about fish. Um, there's great opportunities. We, we obviously we do everything we can to, to build these chefs and, and to, to give them a good platform to go on in the industry. So yeah, a lot of education in the industry, I suppose you could say.